you not only tell them, you tell one you have some study. A manager's key issue for that particular point before a key could be released and you're given that opportunity to have a key was a very big issue. Apart from the dialer phone, we used to have the, the walking machines that installed in all the cars, and that's how stock management would do. When the Unilever person will actually come to take an order, they actually not, it actually was asked to actually go dash out there with a paper and pen. You will have to cram everything from your head, just counting each individual product, coming up with that particular uh, LBO, going and begging for product, which is very different right now where we have steps before the luxury press, and the press of a button, it goes to the, to, to, to the supplier, the supplier then supplies, you even have a case field issue, and all those other things. But things have changed. When I joined uh, the organization, um, I think we had nine or 10 managers, and about a particular point you'll actually know, all the managers, all the assistants, all the chief cashiers, everybody is receiving by name. And things were different. Things were different. But there's one key thing that was there. The foundation that our founders have actually put in the business was a consistency within which branch one, branch two, branch three. But all of that was not in a standardized manner, it was just in a whole informal manner. And I believe when now we start this management and the programs and the way we are working with the we even get better and better organized. As we actually go to that other next step, because they must move from step one of a complete uh, general chain uh, customer, we became a warrant chain customer, then now the market leaders with uh, 70, uh, 73 stores by the end of uh, this week, 74 by the other week, <laughs> 75 by the next continue. By the end of the year, we definitely have 80 plus stores, and all this requires more and more money for the trade. Well, first with exactly what we're doing, and that's why it's actually to actually be having this program in place. It's not been easy, by the way. When you're actually joining the retail, uh, then telling someone by the way you work for such and such a supermarket, well, you just problem here and go like that. So you went to the uni to do, uh, okay, these are among the failures in this one. <laughs> I think things are flipped. It's not even about the union video, it's not about what the supermarket and the retail industry has become a better employer. People are more proud of the actual kind of care and acceptance about the same. And you might, and we'll now also need to ask ourselves, there are very many players who have actually come here, both local. We had not much here, we had two, we had other green one. We had international players who come in the country and so that they all have to be left. Why are we here? And why are we actually going to progress? What makes life us good? And that's where we actually start with the foundation within which we have actually been created for and the continued need within which we have to get this uh, management training program and everything right. So, thank you very much. As I actually said, uh, for the greater neighbors, I'm speaking on behalf of the Expo team. Uh, we want to continue existing and continue to make decisions at, at the end. At the end of the day, we make everybody's lives better. We want to make sure that we are the Kenyan retailer that is going to have that Kenyan flag. We are going to be here standing, not only the 30 years now, but even 30 times, three years, where it's such that our third gen and fourth generations will have a place in which they can actually say the foundation was right. The people who took up the foundation made the foundation even better, and we are still continuing to stand on the street. So thank you very much. Karibu Zana to Naivas. And uh, please, as you actually finish, make sure that you pass through our uh, a store. It has a story. This store all the way from the entrance has a story to tell. And uh, that story, please, whoever will actually be here for the session, I would like to take you through a tour of this store and the science behind how we came up with this particular store. Thank you very much. Uh, great. Um, so today is a great day, a culmination of uh, hours and uh, months of a lot of work. Uh, from the team uh, at Nairas, try and bring the dream of the management, or the, the dream of our boards together. And this is the dream to mentor younger leaders, to bring leaders uh, along. Uh, I want to really thank the EXCO for backing this program up and consistently showing commitment to it. And I also want to thank Mr. Kiwani for <laughs> coming here today. Thank you very much. Um, the management of human resources come a long way. Um, there's, there's been a lot of changes in the management of human resources. There's been the industrial revolution, we have the 
scientific revolution, and now we have four industrial revolutions. And culture, of course, forms a great part of any business. And for us, we are a family-oriented business. This is our culture. It is on that basis that we seek to grow the next generation of leaders to carry this business forward. This program is at the heart of the business. The people we select here have been selected for a rigorous process of 250 candidates over a period of four months, both in training, in uh, assessment, in applications, and maybe just to give a special mention to the assessors. The head assessor, Mr. Richard Kelly. <laughs> uh, Grace Duku. Why are you guys not feeling as proud as I am of you? <laughs> Uh, why are you doing like this? We should not be seen. Uh, Damasius. Oh, you're there. Then you're wearing a coat. <laughs> uh, Stanley, who is also a product of a, a, a program similar as, such as this. And I will not miss anyone. Joseph, who is also the branch manager at Capital Set. We really, really honor you for offering yourself for this program. So today, as we inaugurate this program, we have high dreams. The dream is to turn this business to a hundred year, a hundred year business. We know the only way to get there is by bringing the right people along. I think Willie has explained how it used to be done. Things have of course changed a lot and the kind of people we need are much more different. But with the same, same uh, fabric, the fabric of family, the fabric of wanting to make the world a better place. We are determined to celebrate the centennial, and the human resource will get us there. We are not afraid to put money where our mouth is, and that is why we put our money, the resources, behind this program. Thank you all, enjoy this launch, and let us remain in the detail of retail. Thank you very much. Today, I take Today takes me 30 years ago. This very man, as time has came to be, back then as my late father, late brother, and myself, paid up to 200,000 for the store to take over Gitwe General Store. That's where we started in Gitwe. Had, had you told me I would be standing here today, I would have probably laughed of you. The mission then was simply the sustain of our immediate family and ourselves. However, as the years have gone by, the dream has taken new shape, meaning each bigger than previous. As the business has grown, so far, so has its workforce. The communities we operate in, as well as the customer we serve, the workforce has increased, grown from three to over 8,000. The community we operate in now cut across all our economic classes and customers. We serve, we serve are more sending and now than now than they have even been. This can, this can therefore only mean one thing. The business has to evolve faster than it has ever done before. The evolution has called upon the leadership to continue acknowledging our limitation and seek to bring in the expertise we require to fill the gap we see you have all you have all been witness to these very steps that the business has undertaken, including but not limited to the onboarding of investors to ensure we have more strengthened corporate governance. And it is for this reason that we are here today. The launch of the management trainee program to, to me serves two key purposes. First, ensure that the business will always have quality staff for all its store management. Secondly, we, we, 
preserving the legacy of this brand. The brand can only continue its success and outlive all of us to become a century old if the values that rule the brand life are passed on to the young, more energetic and more active leaders. I may be ill-equipped in matters of social media, which the management training program has been must be well over part in. But I do carry with me 30 years of retail expertise, which they lack. This is exactly why this program matters much in the wisdom of the old and the expertise of the new world held by the younger generation to deliver world class value to all those interact, interact with the brand. As, as I wind up to the 11 candidates who, from the very first cohort of the management trainee program, you bear the responsibility of making it success, paving way for highest belief. We still grossly paving way for thousands of others in the years to come. We believe in you. Prove to us that even if our highest belief is still grossly underestimated you. Thank you very much. Let's remain in detail of retail. Thank you very much.